Hey guys, so today, since I kind of feel bad, I have these um, yellow banded millipedes that are from Florida, and they're, well, they're not from, Flo like, these ones are from Florida, but they're not native to Florida, and I have them in here, and I feed them lettuce and stuff, and they just chow on it, like, chow down on it like crazy, and I'd like to create this as, like, a uh, area for them, uh, like, much bigger than just that tiny little peanut butter jar, so I'm basically gonna make it, like, a terrarium, so I'm gonna take this dirt, um, that I have in here and put it in here which this might have some I don't know it might have some isopods I don't think so this bag of dirt I just have just for any project I feel like doing and all of this is like sanitized um, you can go through my channel I recently redid all my playlists, so there's playlists about, um, there's actually one dedicated to stuff like this, like dirt, and you can find my mix and what I use in it and stuff like that. So this has a few different things, a bunch of different stuff in it. So I'm just gonna, I think this should be enough. I'm gonna do one more scoop. big scoop of all this. It's actually a few different dirts kind of in layers in this bag just because I move dirt around and stuff. So I'm going to mix it in. Mix this all around. And then I'm going to spray it down quite a lot because it's really not very moist and I think these guys like a moisture environment considering that they seem to do really well in Florida, and Florida is exactly that, a moist environment. And these are just kind of cool. I would use them as, like, um, cleanup crew, except I don't think they're safe for my animals to eat, and they might have, like, mites or whatever just from, like, animal mites, like, just soil mites or whatever, just because I got them from the wild. So I don't really want to risk putting that in all my terrariums and risk that my animals would eat them. So they're just kind of something cool. Um, they're bright colored and they're just like another fun thing to house and they're really simple. Uh, this is why some people keep like the bigger species of um, these uh, uh, bigger species of millipedes as pets just because they're kind of cool just to have. So now I'm going to mix this because the water doesn't really seep through and I might have to spray it down again. Again, I want the soil to be pretty moist and it's, there's, I mean, a part of this is eco earth. So it'll actually expand a little tiny bit um, since it's all dry right now. So here, I'm going to spray it down again. I had to do this with my, um, one of my most recent terrariums that I made because I just got dirt right out of this bag and it had to be sprayed down quite a lot to get moist enough. Now again, like I said, they're really simple and one of the nice things about this is that like these won't really need any special lighting or heating or anything. They're basically just going to be kept in here. Um, and I'll feed them whenever I feed the other stuff, and they're just kind of cool. Like, I'll be able to look in, they'll be all over the food and stuff like that. So really no advantage of keeping them. Maybe eventually I'll have them in, like, a terrarium where uh, it, it wouldn't matter. Like, not the, the thing that was in it couldn't eat it. Like, when I'm, like, a small gecko or something like that, I'll be able to, I'd be able to put them in with something along the lines of that that wouldn't try to eat it because these would be too big because they're not they're not like small like the millipedes around here so now i think it should be really moist and pretty good for these guys in here so now 
I'm going to rear it back. I'm going to get a piece of wood to put in this and uh, real quick, I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, so I got, I washed my hands and I got my bag of different pieces. I think I'm just going to go with this piece here. So I'm just going to stick it in the soil, kind of get everything flattened out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them in. Or I'm going to add the soil in a second. Okay, I'm going to add them in. Or the, not the soil, the uh, piece of wood. I'm going to add them in. You'll be able to see them in here. So here they are. There's all these millipedes. And I'm hoping to get them to start breeding just because that'd be really cool. And now I'm gonna mix this little bit of their soil and them and these um, leaves. Mix all this stuff in to the soil. So then I'm gonna put this in here and this. that and then I'm going to add more leaves as well just like that and then finally I'm going to put some food in here for them and then give one more spray down real quick and then that's just another thing for me to keep and it should be pretty cool so, yeah, I'm just going to do a real quick spray down of everything. And then put the lid on. So just like this, I'll keep it uh, over here. Okay, so I put it down here, um, right by my doobie roaches. And I think I might want to do, like another one of these for like my isopods and then maybe start like selling them or just to seed a terrarium way easier because right now if I start a new terrarium then I just dig out some dirt from my iguana's cage and put it in there and there's tons of isopods on it but I think I might do another one because we have a few more of these containers that match and it, it fits here it'll be fine and then whenever i need to feed them or whatever i'll just take it take these the food things off i have all my fish food right there right beside my um doobie roaches and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put it in the comments below and if you want more content then subscribe have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video